Well, Dan, in court today, there was talk of evidence, cell phones, and the possibility of keeping the public and the media out of a key hearing regarding Gonzalo Curiel. Accused child killers Tammy Huntsman and Gonzalo Curiel back in a Salinas courtroom Friday, but questions still remain as to whether the couple will be tried together. Curiel, who was a minor at the time of his arrest, still has to go through a juvenile court hearing to determine whether or not he'll be tried as an adult. It's a hearing defense attorneys are hoping to keep the public and media out of. The transfer hearing includes a report by probation that details the facts of the case so the judge can determine whether it's appropriate for juvenile or adult. They're trying, and appropriately, to minimize the amount of pretrial publicity so that jurors, when they come into the trial, won't have already made up their minds. Curiel and Huntsman are charged with torturing and killing three-year-old Delilah Tara and her six-year-old brother Sean back in November of 2015 and leaving their bodies in a Northern California storage unit. Both children were in Huntsman's care. The murder trial is scheduled for next March, and trying it in another county has not been ruled out. It's been discussed. I mean, uh, they haven't filed it. Um, the Where a case has a lot of local notoriety and a lot of impact locally, jurors can sometimes form opinions, and it may be very difficult to find 12 jurors who can keep an open mind. In court Friday, defense attorneys made it clear they haven't received all the evidence they believe prosecutors have. There was talk about seeking search warrants regarding cell phones discovered by investigators. And we also heard defense attorneys may try to prevent certain evidence from making it to trial. We anticipate that they're going to seek to suppress some of the evidence in the case. Um, claim that the police didn't do their job exactly right or someone made a mistake, those kinds of things. Now the next court date is July 21st for Gonzalo Curiel to set a hearing date at which time attorneys will argue whether or not Gonzalo Curiel should be tried as a minor or adult. Dan. All right, thank you very much, Felix. Tammy Huntsman faces the death penalty of convicted. For Curiel, he faces life in prison without the possibility of parole if he's convicted in adult court. If they try him in juvenile court, he would be eligible for parole.